Greetings everyone. In this video I want to talk about some trickery that is going on within the matrix system and your consent, your implied consent. Greetings. This infinite source truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. There are source players that have fallen to uh, a trap and they have opened themselves up to problems. Now, specifically, uh, someone who considers themselves an aura reader or a seer or whatever and they say oh, somebody needs to speak to you because there's something going on in your life and they know all about it and they want to talk to you about it and then you go into and visit you you step you consent you give your energy to that thing you entertain it. You see now you have opened yourself up to connections because you have made the steps to go and listen to this about you have had black magic used against you. You have had blah 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 blah. Okay. And they say well we'll remove the attachments from you. And you say okay yeah. Well you can remove those attachments from yourself. But you are consenting now more to an attachment being made to you through that action of saying, entertaining this person, and then they have you come back again and they say, well, it's not, it's, it's not completed, so list off all the people that you think might have something against you. Now, they have you going into your past, have you going into your past. By your consent, you are, you are doing what they are asking you to do and they are making greater connections, energy connections to you. And they have you write something down on a piece of paper. You give that to them and then they'll give you a piece of paper for you to stick under your pillow and sleep on. Now, you, you do this and you're consenting even more. Do you get this? Do you see what you're doing? You are creating some major entity attachments here by you participating in this. You are willingly consenting to it. You have listed off names and you are giving them things that they ask for. And then they get other people involved and then it becomes, oh, they want your night shirt that you slept in for a certain number of nights. Well, in the video that I talked about etheric attachments, any clothing that you have worn for any length of time that has sweat, uh, is extremely valuable for someone wanting to work black magic or things against you in this illusionary dream state. You giving your clothes to that person because they've asked for them for that purpose you have and you go through with that well you are ignorant you're totally ignorant and you have no source self connection because or you're not asking your source self because you would not be doing that if you had a strong source self connection. You would not be doing that. You have the ability to do it for yourself. You really do. And if you're going and you're visiting uh, these people they do not have your best interest in mind. Several things are happening here. By your consent of entertaining and listening to what that person has to say to you about black magic and all of this stuff, you are inviting attachments to you. And then it leads further. And then they start asking for clothing from you. Now, they are really going to control you if they get your clothing because You've consented. You've consented. Under no circumstance should you ever be giving anyone, somebody asks for something from you that's like your clothing or something personal that you use, you should be a suspect right there. There should be a, there should be a red flag that goes up. 
why do they want that thing? Why are they asking for it? It's one thing if you give this, if you give something to someone that you've had, you then remove the uh, etheric connections, so you sever everything with your intent. You remove all the connections to that item before you ever give it away, even if it's to uh, a charity or uh, to someone else because you don't need it anymore and you want to benefit them because you're done with it and you don't need it. You need to remove all of the connections to that thing so there is no connections remaining that can be attached back to you. If someone asks you specifically for an item of your clothing or a personal item or something, then you need to be fully aware that there is another reason that that ask and that request is coming. And it could be beneficial to you and it could not be beneficial to you. But most cases, it's not beneficial. You have to look at the person that's asking for it and why they want it. And just because someone says why they want it isn't necessarily the reason of why they want it. I'm going to also address uh, blood magic. Uh, blood is the biggest thing there is to make a connection to you. Now, there are some women who have had I'm going to also say as well as giving an item to someone that you have worn that is yours personally whenever they ask for it okay I wouldn't do that a personal item of clothing or personal item Now, let's talk about opening your door and inviting someone into your home. Hospitality, right? Think twice before you just invite someone into your home because you are giving consent. When you invite someone in, when you invite someone in, you are opening a door. You are consenting. When you invite that person in, you are consenting. You are consenting to be attached to. Whether you want to try to explain something to someone or not, forget about them, what they have to do with your journey. No. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to be fully aware of who you're opening your door to and what you're giving consent to. And if you've made mistakes, then you need to right now sever all connections to those any, anything that has a connection to you, that you are connected to, you need to sever those connections right now in this now day. Forget about the past, but you may have connections and you need to sever them. Whether they be from religion, whether they be from people, whether they be from previous, you know, anything and everything. Now, when you invite someone under your own under into your home and to live under your roof well uh, there is more to it than that happening there now you know some people have opened their homes to people who have some serious problems and have some serious knowledge about uh, black magic and stuff like that and blood is the most extreme connection that can be made to you now I'm even going to say, how would someone get a woman's blood? How could someone get a woman's blood without them being aware that they've gotten their blood? Well, menstruation menstruation. Women discard all the time. If you're menstruating women, you need to remove all etheric attachments to any blood that is not inside on your body. 
you need to remove all etheric attachments from all blood outside your body. Many of you probably think that this is a little bit uh, off the wall and kind of crazy, and that's okay. You can think it if you want to, but many have fallen. <sighs> many have been attached to this way. Men cut themselves shaving. They use a little bit of toilet paper or whatever and then they take that toilet paper and they throw it in the trash. So, a toothbrush. Although it's not blood, it's been in your mouth and your saliva has been on it. These things that you think nothing about because you don't understand etheric attachments and connections and how someone devious within the matrix scheme of things uh, can use these things against you. Now this isn't to put panic to you. It's just for you to be aware of these things and make smart choices for yourself and not entertain people that you should not be entertaining and not allow people under your roof that you should not be allowing under your roof. And you need to be aware as a source player, you may not want to go into any, everyone's house that invites you. Because by you walking into their house, you have consented. You've consented to be under their roof, to be sheltered by them. You need to make sure that you want to be sheltered by them before you enter. There are things in this, there are rules in this game that most of you don't think anything about and you are not aware of and you, you do these things on a regular basis and you think nothing about it. You need with your full intent, and I would even say maybe even on a daily basis, if you're not of a high enough frequency to be outside the box and having severed all of these abilities for people to use these things against you, then you need to daily, with intent, remove any etheric attachments that you have created through your intentional consent or your uh, by action consent. Removing and severing all etheric connections that have been made in entity invitations that you have created in a given day. So if you have benefited from these videos, then it benefits you to do an energy exchange and say thank you for the energies that I have put out there on your behalf by using PayPal or Patreon as it benefits you. And it unlocks higher frequency unlocks for you, within you, something only you can do for yourself. And you can do it any other way. You get out of these videos what you put into them. Abundance, health, and prosperity to you.